Every month, doctors in the province of Buenos Aires have been out on strike. They claim the public health system in Argentina's largest province is in crisis. We meet Dr. Virginia Vallejos in the Melendez Hospital. She says low salaries and crumbling infrastructure are to blame. Look at the conditions in this hospital. It's embarrassing to see how we're working. It smells of gas. We're attending people where we shouldn't. It's leaking everywhere because of the rain. Argentina prides itself of its free and universal health care system. But the conditions in hospitals like this one show how the situation has deteriorated over the years. This hospital is 114 years old, but we're told that there is not enough space for everyone. In fact, people end up being hospitalized in this corridor. This poster that you can read here asks not to put people underneath this electrical board. Buenos Aires is a province of 16 million people, and public hospitals play a crucial role among those who cannot afford private health care. This woman complained that she's been waiting for hours for her child to be examined. Most of the people here are angry because of the way they are treated. The situation is similar at another establishment. We have shut down the neonatology unit, the trauma unit. We cannot guarantee service anymore. Lack of funding is partly to blame. The bad salaries are forcing doctors to move to private health care, and we are the ones struggling to keep this going. The previous administration invested heavily in health care. Brand new hospitals were built around the country. But many people here claim that it did not solve the structural problems Argentina's public hospitals face today. The problem is the fragmentation. There might be a new hospital, but the old ones were not fixed. There's been no investment in human resources in improving quality. Up until today, Argentina continues to fail in some aspects of its Millennium Development Goals. And that's why the new administration in the province claims they're working towards immediate reform. We already ordered the reconstruction of four hospitals in Buenos Aires. We tried to raise salaries, but we cannot do everything in four years. For doctors here, it is not enough. They have been promised reforms in the past and vow to continue protesting until they see significant change. Teresa Bo, Al Jazeera, Buenos Aires.